If you would like my dad's videos, please subscribe to QA Insights channel. In this episode 5 of Learn Gatling series, today we are going to see about HTTP checks. In almost every tool in performance testing or in automation testing, you have a concept called checks. Checks validates some response or it will make sure the actual value is equals to the expected value. So any tool, if you take, for example, JMeter or LoadRunner, so JMeter has a concept called assertions and extractors. Similarly, LoadRunner has a concept called checks and WebRidge save param uh, functions. So every tool has its own features and its own implementation, but Gatling combines the validation and the extraction together as a concept called checks. So there are two types of checks in Gatling. One is the generic checks and another one is protocol specific checks. Since we mostly work on the HTTP, in this series, we are going to see more about HTTP related uh, stuffs. But in case it is required, please let me know. I can cover the other protocols as well. So now let us go deep inside the generic checks. So Gatling has a concept called domain specific language where you can uh, define the uh, checks and also you can do more than the defining. For example, you, if you want to extract, you can do some extraction. Basically, uh, this is called a correlation. If you want to capture some dynamic response from the server, then you can uh, use the extraction method. And it supports transformation, of course, validation, and the naming and the saving. So these are the uh, types of checks under generic category. But we are going to cover everything uh, in the upcoming uh, videos. But let us see some high level overview about the checks so that you get some idea. So apart from the uh, these checks, whatever we have seen the types of checks, these are some of the examples uh, where you can uh, frequently using in your project. If you want to uh, extract the uh, or validate the response time, then you can use the response time in milliseconds. And then you can compare whether it is uh, less than or greater than some number. And if you want to read uh, the body string, you can do that. And if you want to work on the uh, JSON payload, of course, you can use the gems path uh, method to read the values and then substring to find the content. So these are some uh, commonly used uh, generic checks. And when it comes to HTTP, we have again a very set of uh, limited uh, checks. So we have status. It will check for the HTTP status code and current location uh, based on the URL, uh, you can read the location and uh, it supports the regex pattern. And if you want to read the uh, response header, you can uh, read using uh, headers. And again, we have the header regex. So I'm not going to cover each and everything. We are going to just see some high level. We are going to scratch the surface of uh, the checks in uh, Gatling. So now let us see a quick demo about the HTTP checks. So this is my simple uh, checks demo uh, dot Java file. So this will be available in the GitHub repository in the uh, YouTube description uh, below. Uh, make, please make sure uh, to star and uh, watch the repo. So whenever I push the changes, you can get the notification. So here we have a simple uh, URL, uh, onlineboutique.dev in line number 11. So this is the base URL. So we are going to cover the uh, builder, the protocol builder, and also the scenario builder uh, eventually. But we are taking some baby steps here. So let us concentrate uh, each concept uh, one by one. Then we can see something very advanced or uh, complex scenario eventually. And in the line number 13, we are defining a scenario here. And line number uh, 15, it will uh, uh, get the home page. So which is onlineboutique.dev. And line number 16 onwards, we are listing out multiple checks for the uh, request we are sending. The frequently used to check is the status. So every tool has a, a implicit check for the HTTP response. So similarly, Gatling also do some implicit uh, check for the response code uh, 200s and 304. And if you want to mention explicitly, you can do that using the status dot is and then the value. Or if you want to check multiple uh, response code, then you can use the uh, status dot in in line number 18. Similarly, you can use not so status not 503 or status not 500. So that is also you can do it in the Gatling. So this is what these checks will do in the line number 17 and 18. 
Now, if you want to uh, save the URL, the current uh, URL uh, to some variable, definitely you can use the current location method. So this will uh, extract the location, basically the URL, and then uh, you are saving the information in the parameter, sorry, in the variable called uh, URL. So that you can uh, later verify if that uh, URL is something or if it is not, then you can uh, do some uh, action, business logic. So this current location will extract the uh, URL which you are hitting. And if you want to uh, compare the response time, you can use the response time in milliseconds. So line number 20, uh, it will check whether it is less than equals to uh, 300, uh, sorry, 3000 milliseconds or not. So if it is less than uh, 3000 milliseconds, then uh, it will be uh, okay. Otherwise, it will be not okay. And uh, as I mentioned earlier, again, headers. So we always work on the headers to extract something. And if you want to check or validate something, for example, here, uh, do not uh, track whether it is one or not, then it will uh, compare with the actual uh, expected uh, response with the actual, then it will give you the results. And line number 22 and 23 is for the extraction. So this is called a kind of a correlation a method where you will read the dynamic uh, responses from the server and then you will use it in the subsequent request. So this is a very one of the important uh, process. I'm not going to deep dive into this uh, regex pattern uh, in today's video. Of course, we are going to deep dive into regex separately, but this will give you some high level overview. So regex, you can give, uh, write some uh, Java regular expression pattern and then uh, you can uh, save it as uh, in, into some variable and then you can do some business logic uh, in the eventual uh, uh, requests. So here I have two sets of regex. One is a simple uh, title extraction from the uh, web page. So I'm using uh, some kind of uh, a simple regex which will work for multi-line uh, if the content has multi-line. So that will also will work in this uh, pattern. And then I'm just storing it in the variable called extract underscore title. So by default, it will capture the groups as zero or one. And if you want to uh, capture multiple uh, capture groups, uh, don't worry if you don't understand the capture groups concept, we are going to deep dive into this. So if you want to specific, uh, extract uh, more uh, patterns, more capture groups, then you have to specify uh, the capture group uh, number. So that is what we are doing in line number 23. And I'm going to extract everything and then I'm going to store it as a uh, uh, list of the variables. So called extract underscore products. So the capture groups uh, value should be between 2 and 18. If you enter less than 2 or greater than 8, uh, it will uh, file. So then uh, line number 25 to 28, uh, 29, what we are going to do is we are going to print the uh, values in the command line so that we can validate. So this is only for debugging purpose. Again, I'm going to cover debugging in a separate uh, video. So if you want to print some value, you cannot just like that use uh, system.out.println. So everything you have to uh, wrap it in the uh, session. So inside the session, uh, you need to just uh, print the values by retrieving the uh, session got get string and the value of the variable. So this will extract everything and then it will just print it in the uh, session. And then I'm just pausing the uh, duration uh, uh, for three seconds and uh, this is the workload model. So we are running with just one thread. So now if you want to execute, uh, as I mentioned in the last video, so we need to use the Gradle wrapper or Gradle, and then you have to use the task name as Gatling run hyphen and the uh, package name uh, dot your uh, class name. So this is our uh, package name, which is called checks and the class name is uh, checks demo. So now if you hit enter, this will execute, uh, it will hit the online boutique uh, dot dev and then it will uh, do all uh, sort of checks. So in the report, you can see in detail how many checks has been passed, how many checks has been failed, and uh, it is also printing the uh, our uh, system.out.println statements. So if you just scroll up a little bit, you can see the values. So this is the value which we are printing, which is nothing but the home page and the title of the home page. And then we are printing the, the products uh, list. So this is a list of uh, strings. So this is what it is extracting. But of course, we are just extracting. We are not doing any kind of a business logic here. But uh, if you want to do that, you need to do it uh, by writing some uh, custom logic. And then if you just keep scrolling down, you can see OK, not OK, everything. And if you keep scrolling, you can see the uh, statistics here. And then if you want to open the uh, report, you can just uh, copy this and uh, launch your uh, run command and hit enter. So the report will be launched in the default browser. And here, if you just keep scrolling, you can see uh, OK status and not OK status. And if you just scroll down, uh, 
uh, hover over uh, the chart you can see the requests failed requests and if you keep scrolling you can see a lot of information about your uh, checks and its status so this is how you leverage checks if you want to validate something or if you want to extract uh, some response uh, definitely uh, you can uh, uh, implement a lot of things uh, in checks concept but we are just uh, scratching the surface of checks but eventually we are going to deep dive into uh, whichever function we will be using frequently for our use case so that's it guys from my side please uh, let me know if you have any questions and please check it out uh, academy.qnsets.com for more such courses thank you have a good day if you like my dad's videos please subscribe to qa insights channel